Yeah, so uh, lot this would be pin 21. So we'd have uh, a <coughs> lot 30 and 31 out here. Uh, these would be uh, 19 2 and 19 5. Eric's got 19 2 there on the stick. Uh, pedigree would be Capone, never before. Um, be never before 28 1 would be the mother. That'd be you want to end game sisters. And um, like I said, that in game sisters are them things are staples here. And they, they typically don't miss and um, done, a, done a heck of a job for us in terms of just uh, cranking out winners at all levels. and and making elite females. But uh, what we got here in, uh, in the ring is uh, two crossbred males in 19-2 and 19-5. Uh, 19-2 is the belted one here that is uh, maybe just a nickel shorter sided. Uh, I think that's an elite kind of a, elite kind of a head and neck and, and build. I'm, I, I like that pig a great, great deal. 19-5 uh, is another one all black, but a, a good all black one. I think this one's stout skulled. He's sharp backed. He's extremely square about how that one wants to plant and go. He's good about his rib cage. He's huge forearm. Um, for Capone, back on the in-game deal, I think these uh, these pigs represent it very well, and I think they're very good pigs. Yeah, this is uh, another really good pair, and uh, as Eric has this black one on here, I mean, that thing is super stout, guys. I mean, I don't care what color they are. If they look like that, I mean, that one's got a giant big rear leg laid in him. It's mobile. It works. A big chest, giant forearm. He's shaggy. He's got a big – Deep flank laid in him, big rib cage, but yet you get on top of him. I mean, that one's got a big back shape. I love the shape to his to his rump and lower rump and the way he carries that down through his lower rump and, and from the side. I mean, that thing's deadly. That thing's still got a neat look and a neat build and neat design. And then uh, we got the little belted male on here. And, I mean, uh, that one just when he hits, hits the ring out here, I mean, one that just – Boom, grab, you gravitate, I guess, too, and he catches your attention because that one is so neat looking from the side, but yet you put him in motion. I mean, his hip and hind leg, I mean, uh, he's got that big bendy hind leg, and it works, and, and all four of his feet plant forward, and they know what direction they're supposed to go, and, and yet he's big, bold-chested hog that uh, still, I guess, for being – that immature maybe uh, uh, still in like his flank and stuff. I mean, I, I think that hog's got a got a wide window, honestly, that you could feed him. I think he's one that you could get on him and feed him a little hard because I think his skeleton's so incredibly good that to, I think you could pound on that one and get him kind of wherever you wanted to in July. But yet I think, honestly, that one's tailor-made for August to go to those state fairs and, and be very, very competitive. I think – uh, a very good pair of crossbred males here in this pen that uh, uh, definitely come and check out because, uh, I mean, I think you got uh, the Black Hog that honestly could go more July if you want him to into Louisville, into those county fairs. And then you got the Littler Hog that I think uh, that honestly, I mean, he's so incredibly built that uh, you could pound on him, get him where you want. But yet also, I think, uh, as I said earlier, I think that one's tailor-made to go August and go to them state fairs. Very good pair here, I, I think, of crossbred males. Yeah, I, 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 I'd add stuff. I mean, we, uh, we, we breed these things uh, by design in terms of just Capone. I mean, that Capone goes back to, to one of in-game sisters, right? So we, we, we lined up those in-game sisters here. And, um, it, it's, it, it, it works. We, we know it works. These pigs feed. Um, they do a good job. I mean, we, the tighter not, – not tighter, I shouldn't say tight. We've lined it up real tight. But when you line that stuff up here – I and mean, we got a couple of shots of uh, fresh air there, even in the middle on these. But uh, it's just uh, it's something that we do. Uh, it, it's by design. We line these things up, and predictability on this litter, I think, is uh, is a no-brainer. I, I mean, these things are going to feed. They're going to work. So.